Hey, welcome to our first day out in Plovdiv. We're going to see some gorgeous buildings, tour some fabulous streets, and see some rather interesting vandalism. We're looking for the amphitheatre. However, we're going to get lost and find a church with some rather beautiful hand-painted Jesuses. And after a while, we're going to take you on a food tour because the whole plan of the day goes completely out the window. But first of all, before all this happens, I need to take my tiny little petal for something to eat because she's going to get very, very crabby. Yummy, 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 yummy. Here we go. Here is the cheesy, toasty bread. Good? Yeah? What have you got, Mr. Scott? Got a bit of eggplant stuffed, stuffed aubergine. And stuffed cheese. And cheese. Cheap cheese. Which I believe is not lactose. And I have the shrimp. Yummy, yummy. And our restaurant brought us a present. And we all know these guys love cherries. And look at this. Fresh raspberries. Um, so good. on how to actually get to it not very clear so we're at the back of the amphitheater still trying to work out how to actually get in the entrance is from the old town that's all we know we'll keep walking around <laughs> until we figure this out look in the meantime wow should we have a look actually gone inside the church oh, look how pretty it is. That looks like a mosque, Alexandra. An old mosque. With his tower missing. But yeah. There's the entrance. Pretty cool. It's incredibly it looks beautiful. Like a mosque. An old mosque. Um, or it could be orthodox. Because the pictures look very orthodox. It's absolutely beautiful. You can't say Greek Orthodox, although I think the Greeks ruled here and the Turks and the Gauls and the Visigoths and the Romans. Uh, pretty much everybody from Neolithic times onwards was here. On tops of these hills they actually found uh, Neolithic um, remnants from 6000 BC. So this place has been settled for a very long time. And when um, Philip took over um, it became part of Thiras and it was part of Thiras for many many years so yeah I think it's Greek or I think it's Orthodox this church okay it's not Muslim as there is a priest so it's an Orthodox church how cool is that baboom give me a boom the gorgeous paintings it looks incredible this looks like Jesus and if I counted I would probably count whoa 12 apostles I imagine the artwork is absolutely gorgeous and then the Virgin Mary. If you enjoying our videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Loads to see. The Turkish tea house and sweet shop underneath the mosque. It is absolutely incredible in here. It's more Turkish than Turkey. So we asked for baklava and they told us to come in and have a look because they have so many different ones. In fact, they have every type of amazing Turkish pudding that we absolutely love. Maybe that one. This one. Yeah? Yeah. Look at this pecan slice as well though. That looks good. I think we should have this one. Yeah? Look at this baklava and this is a different 
type of baklava it was really mm. hot mm. with pistachio inside and, and honey roll and then uh, cashew nuts or some other kind of nut in there too so figured Scott would like them so fresh homemade lemonades is what Plod Div is known for how is the lemonade lemonade it's um, lemony is it good it's good and Thea has got in here it's raspberry lemonade and I have elderflower and ginger which takes me back to my childhood a million years ago it's all right I said that before you did 48. Wow uh, <laughs> yeah it takes me back to my childhood because we used to make this um, but this is really nice because it didn't take any of the hard work so I recommend uh, you don't have to drink beer here the homemade lemonades gorgeous so right here in the shopping center in the next minute is the ancient stadium so they built around it to preserve parts of it then of course the mosque is active with live singing not only your recorded stuff it's a really cool place this is a stadium this is the race track and the running track and where they would have watched all their sports that's what's left of it i'm guessing that we see this bit and then these are the ancient walls of philanopolis pretty small and this place is towned with okayama which sounds like an unusual place to twin it with, but honestly, when you see the architecture, it, it's not entirely unusual. Yeah, it was quite small. <laughs> it was a lot bigger than this. And that's what's left underneath. And you can actually go into the museum. Fellow geek wants to go to the 3D cinema. Oh my, wow. Oh, gosh, these are huge. Oh, this is insanely cool. Look right underneath the shopping centre. Love it. They found a lot of ancient stuff, and this is someone's burial tomb. So, our tickets were f uh, how much each? They were um, seven euro fifty for three of us. Oh, cool. And fifteen Bulgarian. And then we get to see the rest under H and M or in H and M. Yes, that's right, the H and M shop. And I think you just come here and queue up for your 3D projection and we'll get to see what the theatre really looked like. But here is part of it. This forum or stadium actually took 30,000 people. And it was built just after about 49 AD. After a great day of sightseeing, we dashed home, grabbed a shower, put on our best clothes and hit Carpana to find somewhere amazing to eat. Oh my goodness, we had so only Google could help. So this place has the best reviews. It's called Ilaka. I probably spelled that wrong. Um, and it's down a little tiny side street. But that's this little sign with a little sheepy. And um, the menu sounds absolutely amazing <laughs> until I read horse meat. But you know what? Um, this is a different country, so that's going to be on here. And you don't have to order your horse meat with coleslaw. Mm. Right underneath the vegetarian one. <laughs> <laughs> How do we say this place? We can't. Alacria. Alacria, aha. Uh -huh. Alacria. Yeah, that's surreal. Yeah, I love sur Korea. Alacria. I look. 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 Cool. I'm being Mr. Scott. Oh, man. Show me. I oh, it's lager for a start off. It's bo box M. Box M. Box M. So it's Bulgarian. And what have you got? Peach juice. Pulpy. Pulpy. Capi. Okay, well, that's good. Happy? You miss your peach juice, don't you? And apple. <laughs> okay, how is it? It's good. Yeah, oh my goodness, we finally found a drink you like. By the way, I would not employ you in my bar it's with good. a head like that. <laughs> it's good. And I have a gin sour fizz. It's just lush. It's mmm. I'd like to dive in it. It's so hot here. 
So we went in actual flowers. Flowers in our salad, and the salad looked beautiful. This is the, from the weekly temptations menu, so it's local cheese. Is it apple and grape? Thea's already in there. And nuts and flowers. And what do you have, Thea? Okay, don't eat the spicy peppers. But you have the roasted potatoes and cheese with the dip. How does it look? Are you happy? <laughs> Tasty. Okay, how's the salad, Mr. Bear? Good. I'm gonna have to go now because if I don't eat, I'll, ne I'll starve. Every time we order dinner, Scott has his eyes on mine. What have you got, Scott? A lentil steak. A lentil healthy steak. That looks amazing with pickles on it. Wow. That Ew, pickles. looks beautiful. With some homemade. I have from abroad the quesadilla. Get your fingers out of my guacamole. Mm. This is gorgeous. The no, put it down. I was taking a picture. Oh, man, it's just full of cheese. It isn't full of cheese. This is the quesadilla. Mm. Look, we uh, found we the. We haven't post. Oh, you don't take card. Uh, yes. We, oh no. We have a new store and. Oh we no. Now we haven't. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. We'll find cash. So look, we found these gorgeous hand-painted boxes. What's your store called? Ed, Edrin. Edrinus. Edrinus Wooden House. These are all handcrafted and hand-painted. Every single one is unique. And this is a Bulgarian thing. Bulgarian or, and Turkish. And Turkish, look yes. how gorgeous. And it's right outside the place where we just ate Akalari. Us. So we've come to this place called Huku on the corner, which is a Huko, which is the cutest little cakeeria, I think we should call it. What have you got, Scott? That looks like a gingerbread it's cake. Pasteleria. Pasteleria. Yeah. Oh, bien. Oh, thank you. Gracias. Oh, Thea has an Oreo cake. What have you got, Scott? She it looks it an orange cake. An orange, and does it taste of orange? Mm -hmm. How good is it? Because this is treat day food and this is Mr. Scott all over. Give me a smile. And I have, I think, a Black Forest Gatto. I know I have strawberries in them. I think Scott will help me. Yes, it really was a tiny Black Forest Gatto and watching this picture back, I want to eat it again. Thanks for joining us as we explore Plovdiv. We weren't successful in finding the amphitheater, but we will go back and try tomorrow. We found the most incredible church, some beautiful paintings and architecture. And I love how the paintings vary from amazing religious paintings to the most cool local graffiti. So please like the channel, subscribe, and we will take you round Plovdiv with us tomorrow.